So this is the second tutorial for task 3F part 3 uh, where we're archiving the camper vans and in this one we're going to look at how we actually delete the camper vans because we've got our append archive that adds them to the camper van archive table. Now what I want to look at is how we actually go about deleting them. Um, so we'll have a look at our append archive uh, because when it comes to deleting all we've got to do is we've got to keep this criteria the same where the disposal date is not null. Um, so if I change this to a delete query, it's going to delete all of these where the disposal date is not null. And all I've got to do is now save that, that object as delete archive. And we'll be able to um, run it. And now let's just have a look, view it first of all. It's showing the three. Now if I run it and something goes wrong, we're in a bit of trouble. So I'm going to save the database as before update temp. And now I know as when I run it, I can always go back to the, the previous version. So let's run our delete archive. Yes. Delete three rows. Yes. And um, well, you don't know this, but I had this error come up before saying that I'm going to have trouble deleting one record due to a key violation. So um, let's just say no for now. Uh, so we had that error message. Um, the reason we've got that error message is because there is equipment uh, that is related to camper van number 18. Um, and camper van 18 needs to be deleted because it's got a disposal date. So if we have a look at the installation of equipment, you can see here camper van 18 has got two items of equipment and they need to be deleted as well. Um, so what we're going to do is if we go to our relationships and you have a look at the relationship between camper van and installation, you can see there is an option to cascade delete related records. And what that will do is it will delete any installations where the camper van ID matches the camper van ID of what we're deleting. So if we delete a camper van here, any related records in installation will also be deleted and that covers um, the fact that all installed equipment for camper van should be removed and it's not the actual equipment it's just the installation of that equipment so let's run that delete archive query again and there we go let's have a look at camper van table it's gone so four has gone seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen has gone 18 has gone so that's good and if we have a look at our installation table the records to do with camper van 18 have also gone um, so now the next video tutorial will take us through pulling all of this together um, but of course before we do we need to go back to our previous copy of the database um, because we've actually already deleted files so uh, don't forget to go back to your previous copy